Hey guys, and welcome to Tanashi's Movie Corner. And for today's review, I will be reviewing Hush, which came out on April 8th of this year, horror thriller, and an hour and 21 minutes, so not too terribly long. Uh, and came on Netflix, which was a bit surprising. Directed by Mike Flanagan and um, starring Kate Seagal as Maddie. So anyway, for this horror uh, movie, we we have a deaf writer who's actually also mute. So already there you got a little... little um, I, I wouldn't say it's a twist. It's not a twist, but it's an interesting concept to have uh, that we haven't seen in horror movies to have someone who's not only deaf, but mute at the same time. And she lives in the, her at her house in the woods and all of a sudden she uh, finds herself encountering this mass killer and a, a whole game of cat and mouse ensues. So I have heard, or I had heard rather, uh, many good things about this film from uh, some reviewers who are also subscribers of mine um, and some people I I've seen uh, like Chris Stockman and such who, who like this movie and you know on uh, Netflix itself it gave it a five-star rating so and and again the concept was so interesting to me um, that I really I really wanted to check it out and I was I was looking forward to it I was. I was looking forward to this movie. Now, obviously, <laughs> you can tell with how I'm wording this that I did not agree at all. Um, I ended up watching this with Brad, and he's not even going to bother reviewing it. So we were about the same opinion of this movie. And again, this is where all film is subjective. But for me, this movie was crap this movie was just not good it wasn't um again concept aside right and there's a few scenes that i'm going to touch upon in the spoiler arc of it because i'm just going to go ahead and spoil uh, a few things at the end here so not too many uh non-spoiler part killer himself he had much more of a presence for a portion of the film to me and then he didn't um there's a lot of dumb moments for me in this film a lot of moments that don't make sense things don't add up uh, there's a twist uh if you will uh, to you know surprise people i was like okay that's fine but and there's a few scenes where they do try to play upon her being, you know, um, mute uh, and deaf, and and I think those scenes were were okay, but and and acting wise, I will say acting wise for what she had to do, I she did fine. I think that might be it. There's there's really not much going for this film at all there's not and again this was one of those where i wanted to do the troll voice <laughs> i wanted to have the troll show up because that's how much i just do not care for this movie at an hour and 21 minutes it it did feel like it was too long um it just it did there was there's nothing there's no establishment in the characters so i don't care about the characters. There's just nothing to really get me on board with any of them. You know, for motive, for, you know, just trying to care about these people and what they're going through. There's a lot of stupid mistakes that are done on characters' parts, and I get it's a horror movie, but... It just didn't... I didn't buy into it. Um, a lot of opportunities wasted. Again, a lot of tension that should have been there and nothing nothing brought it to me. So, as a horror movie, 
this was crap. This it just did it did nothing. It it really didn't. Like I said, there's a few moments, a few small small things where I can pick out and be like, okay, cool concept, cool concept. Not executed, great, but okay, sure, whatever. It's just not enough to add up to anything. And giving it, uh, giving it a rating one through ten, <laughs> I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna give it a one. I'm gonna give it a one out of ten. Oh, he was so so terrible. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that's the spoiler-free part of it. If by all means, if you want to check it out, go check it out. There's a lot of people that do like it. I'm not one of them, but all film is subjective, so you're going to have that happen sometimes. So if you have checked it out, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you haven't, I do recommend going and checking it out. It is on Netflix, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. All right, so that being said, we are going to get into spoilers real quick starting now. Let's get into that. Um, The whole thing about this killer is he has a mask on for a short uh, period of time and then he takes the mask off revealing his face um, and then stays with the mask off and I get yeah I get it I get it it was like okay well we're gonna change this from what it what we've seen but even though it's a generic mask it still has more of a presence to it than just seeing his face so missed opportunity there the music didn't work for me either in building any suspense at all because there really wasn't a whole lot of music and again i get what they're trying to do but it just it didn't work you know um there's so many dumb moments in this movie uh, one being where she opens the door for her cat but then has her back to the door because that's smart right Uh, The other thing is, apparently she lives out here and she has no real weapon. Okay. You know, her her power gets shut off or whatever. And she has a smartphone. But 4G isn't a thing. I mean, I don't know. She was obviously in range to connect with Wi-Fi from her neighbors. So why not? try to break for it there and there's a moment where she she tries to make a run for it and I was like oh good except she runs to the right which is the direction that he was walking on the other side of the house and she saw that but yet she runs out in front of him and oh what do you know she gets hit by an arrow of course why not (laughs) you know um her neighbor shows up the one that was still alive at the time John shows up he gets a light in his face or whatever he gets told that by the supposed cop that this stuff is going on except the cop isn't dressed like a cop and doesn't show a badge or present any form of being like a cop and certainly doesn't have a car around so hmm okay why not I mean there's just there's nothing to these characters there there isn't and I just don't I don't get it I don't get it at all uh I thought I'd like this movie I did I wanted to like this movie the idea of having a situation with someone being both deaf and mute like that's crazy that was a crazy idea and uh, it, yeah, it's kind of a um uh, typical film outside of that I mean they have a scene where it looks like she does try to go for it and she dies and then they all know that didn't actually happen where I was like okay and then she plays out these situations which directs back to the the book she was writing about about you know possible outcomes but I don't see where the confusion was there and there were times where she'd drop her knife I'm like why are you dropping the knife? That's the only weapon you got. Like, it's so, so dumb. Like this, and even at the end, when she's apparently she's bleeding out, vision's gone fuzzy, whatever. She gets in the final showdown with him, stabs him, 
whatever. All of a sudden, she's walking out and sitting on the porch, and the cops show up like record speed time. Good on them. <laughs> like, oh man, I could just. I could trash this movie so bad. Like, so much. I do not see what you guys saw. And I. Trust me, if you did a review, I watched it. And I was looking forward to this movie. Uh, and. Yeah, it did nothing. So. Like I said, that goes back to all film is subjective or whatever. Um, you know, what have you. Like, and it, it truly is. All film is subjective. That's why sometimes you encounter situations like these. And for me, this was just one of them. Um, I'm just, I can't be on board with this film. Can't do it. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click that like button, share, subscribe to my channel, and watch my other vids. I do appreciate it. And until next time, shh.